Hey guys, welcome for another Pick A Card and today we are going to do the September Fortune. We'll take a look at what's in store for you this month of September. What are the energies both in love and career? And we have three options as usual, so let me show it to you first. This is group number one and that is Citrine. Group number two, we have Green Aventurine. And group number three, we have Pyrite. So choose which of these three crystals you're drawn to. Look closely. Use your intuition. And again, this is a general reading. It will not resonate for all of you. Hi, group number one. You chose Citrine. Let's see. What's in store for you this month of September? Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages. You have King of Diamonds. You have Nine of Diamonds. You have here Six of Spades. You have here Three of Hearts. Next you have here King of Hearts. And then you have here eight of clubs. At the bottom of the deck, you got here queen of spades. Very interesting. I'm definitely seeing a lot of earth energies, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right. So what I'm actually picking up for you, group number one, and this is actually very specific. It's definitely not going to resonate for all of you. So that's why I said only take what resonates and just leave the rest. But I'm actually picking up that for some of you, you are actually going to make this decision to start up your own business that's really what I'm actually picking up you're going to put your focus on a business that involves your passion that you're very much passionate on doing it for instance I love cooking let's say or I love tarot so you're actually going to start up your own business based on your passion that's really what I'm hearing very strongly I'm actually picking up that you're kind of like weighing whether am I going to yeah look for another job like regular job eight to five or nine to five or should I just start my own business so I'm getting that for some of you you are actually going to put your focus on this um, business of yours and it's going to be a success that's what spirit is actually saying which is really beautiful because I'm actually picking up in the past you've actually been you know working for either a company let's say and been working with different types of people but this business I don't think that you have a lot of people around you is going to do that for you I feel that it's just only you but it's based on your creative passion that's actually what I'm hearing very strongly and then for some of you I'm actually picking up this had something to do with travel all right so I'm actually you know getting a lot of messages around travel for group number one I feel that maybe you have been waiting for this travel you've been waiting um, whether this is um, overseas job or whatever or it's just for you know for pleasure I I don't know but I'm hearing travel for you um, yes that's gonna happen this month of September for some of you I'm actually hearing that you have tried to apply for many jobs and it's not going through or nobody responded to your applications but I'm actually getting this month of September um, and this is also very specific you will actually get two offers by two employers all right so if in the past you've submitted some applications it's actually you know um, not working for you you didn't get any response from any of them and you're getting frustrated about that I'm actually picking up that um, this month of September um, you will be receiving or um, more of like a message that's really what I'm hearing 
Yeah, online. That's what I'm hearing. So if it's online, obviously that's going to be an email. All right. So yeah, you will get two offers. That's what I'm picking up very strongly. Another message that I'm actually getting as well. Some of you guys will be reunited with your friends this month of September. Okay, maybe you haven't seen this friend for a long time. Um, but yeah, I'm actually picking up that three friends. I don't know why I'm actually picking up three friends or three people is involved. But anyway, that's what I'm getting for some of you. Let's see what else. You have chariot. You have hangman. Oh my god, definitely travel again. I can't believe this. You have another, you know cards around travel so for september travel is really big you have the sun wow a lot of major arcana so the month of september is going to be significant for some of you okay oh yeah that is beautiful Okay, at the bottom of the deck, he got your queen of fire. I love your cards, group number one, and I love how everything is actually, you know, correlating to what I already picked up at the beginning of the, of the reading. So again, I'm actually seeing here fire energies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, especially Leo. I'm also getting Taurus, if it's actually Earth. I'm also seeing Pisces and Cancer if it's actually water, okay? So again, I'm really picking up travel for group number one this month of September, especially for those who are resonating with um, things are not moving or you've been applying for a job overseas. And finally, okay, things will shift to your favor. Things will actually start to get moving. That's really what I'm getting. Because whatever it is, I'm actually picking up for a lot of you. There's a lot of stuck energies for group number one. Like you've been waiting for something. There's not much movement. Some of you guys even tried applying for different types of jobs. Or you've submitted a lot of applications. But again, you're seeing no progress at all. But this month of September, what they're actually telling me with this patience card... Regardless whether it's around travel or whether it's around um, this job, I'm actually getting that your patience is going to pay off. And this will definitely make you very, very happy. Expect that there's going to be a positive movement forward for you this month of September. Okay? This is really beautiful. I love this. All right. Let's try to pull up more. What's in store? What are the energies for group number one this month of September? You have why. Okay, you got disruption. You have your creative expression. Oh my God. You got talk to your angels. Hold on. I love how everything is correlating. Because I really picked up that some of you guys are going to start your own business, really. And I specifically mentioned around creativity, right? So yeah, this is a validation for sure. Let's see what else.
Okay. You have unlikely and you got the situation will improve. Okay, I love this. So group number one, what I'm actually seeing here on this spread, a lot of you guys encountered a lot of tower moments or there were some changes that it was so hard for you to actually embrace it, whether it's around love or whether it's actually around, you know, job or finances like all of a sudden the tower you know fell apart and i'm actually getting that you weren't um, prepared for that we with the y card you're like why is this happening to me some of you guys you've tried everything just like what i said but it's not working so you've been asking why what is going on like you really wanted to search the answer um whether it's around love okay because this is a general prediction it's not specifically just for September love prediction. It's both or not just about love, but also money or career or just life in general. So I'm actually getting that it was so hard for you to handle this, okay? This sudden shift or change. And um, some of you guys were definitely, you know, um, losing hope. I'm also getting with this disruption card, all right? It's like... The person cannot move with a strafe jacket. So what I'm actually getting here, a lot of you are or were in that energy. You felt that you can't move. Like everything is not moving. Why is this happening to me? I've tried this, but it's not progressing. Why am I so unlucky? That's why you got the Y card. So I'm actually, you know, picking that up. But Spirit actually wanted you, okay? to let go of worries okay that's not going to help you the more that you put your focus on the problems the more problems will actually come again law of manifestation so yeah for some of you guys um yeah you have the unlikely okay so i'm actually hearing that for some of you maybe you have a question all right about something then this is your answer with the unlikely um, I'm also getting with this unlikely. Um, I'm picking up that maybe some of you are actually, you know, um, thinking if I actually need to let go of my job or do I need to really release my job um, or is it that I need to put my focus more on other areas or maybe start up my own business, you know. Whatever that is, I'm actually, you know, picking up that this month of September, um, Spirit is actually saying that things will actually improve for you, okay? Because some of you were actually confused, like there's not much movement. Some of you are thinking, maybe it's about time for me to let go of this job or look for another one. That's also what I'm hearing for some, okay? But... I feel that whatever it is that you've been going through, regardless whether it's around romance or money issues uh, or job, the situation for you will improve, okay? Some of you guys, I'm actually, you know, picking up with this unlikely again, is that I'm picking up that you are actually not going to stay um, working for an employer. I feel that you've been trying to decide whether should I start my own business. I feel that you will, all right? For those who are resonating with, I'm trying to make a decision whether do I need to actually look for another job or should I just actually put my focus on my on my business or start, start up my own business. I'm actually getting that the type of business that will bring forth a lot of abundance or success for you, it had something to do with your own creativity. Remember, I specifically said creative passion, whatever that is, whether through art, through music, painting, all right, writing, whatever that is, okay? So yeah, that's what I'm seeing for this spread. Let's see what else. Okay, you have the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel.
take time to breathe out. Wow, music, harmony, okay. Heart. Corn leaf clover. Wow. Great good fortune. You have butterfly. You have dark woman. You have unicorn. And you have rainbow. My God, I love your cards. This is so freaking beautiful. Okay. So what I'm definitely seeing here, group number one, is that, again, try to release any worries. You got that card earlier. Take the time to breathe out. That's what spirit is actually saying. So instead of worrying, release that. Because like what I said, a lot of you experience a lot of stress. And yeah, majority of the people because of the pandemic, all right, um, are actually struggling nowadays, especially around career or finances. So I'm actually, you know, getting that you guys were actually struggling, whether it's around money or work, okay? Spirit actually wanted you not to put your focus too much, okay, on the stress, because it's going to create more stress for you. So it's not helping. That's what Spirit is saying. Now, um, a lot of you are also kind of like not very confident enough. Um, confident in such a way that you don't know if I'm making the right decision. That's what I'm hearing. Like, um, should I really put my focus on starting up my own business? Am I really cut out to be like this? Or for instance, this is just an example, okay? Um, I really love Terrell, but I do have a full-time job, but it's not working for me anymore. I'm not sure if I'm actually cut out for this, but this is really what I'm passionate on doing. Because I'm actually picking up, somebody wanted to do um, tarot reading, like create or set up their own channel. Okay, I'm picking that up. So I'm actually getting that you have been thinking whether are you going to be successful? Um, will you be successful um, on doing that? Spirit wanted you to have confidence, all right? Spirit is actually wanting you to, yeah, use your intuition because I've been hearing that you've been really, you know, thinking about it. And this is truly what you want, but you don't feel confident enough. You've been thinking that maybe it's not going to work. Maybe um, I won't get as much as, you know, as much views as, you know, I want guys all right if you're actually you know resonating with that or somebody's resonating with that um we've been there right we've been there when i actually started my channel all right of course i'm just a human being i won't be a hypocrite of course at the very beginning i was like oh my god nobody's watching you know nobody's watching my videos but i actually heard and it's one of my spirit guides it's a guy who actually told me, do not do it for the views, do it out of passion. So again, I keep on hearing creative passion. So maybe some of you are thinking of creating your own channel, tarot channel. If that's your passion, go for it. At first, do not be so much obsessed about the views, okay? Yes, we all wanted, you know, um, yeah, to earn money from YouTube or we wanted to get a lot of views. Let's not be hypocrite, okay? But the most important thing is that you do it out of passion and everything will follow, okay? So I don't know. I'm hearing that very strongly for someone out there. So they're saying, Spirit is saying, just try to use your intuition more. Um, go for your passion. Be confident enough. For some of you guys, um, let's move on. I'm also hearing that 
there's going to be a lot of change for you this month of September. You're going to expect a lot of, you know, peace of mind because there's a lot of, you know, storms that you've been through. You got a tower moment earlier. But look at this. You have a lot of cards that talks about there's going to be a change for you guys, a change for the better with this butterfly. You have the most difficult part of a situation is over. So again, after the storm, you will see the rainbow. For some of you guys, again, great good fortune, okay? And then with the heart, love, deep affection, and caring. So yeah, I feel that with this heart, I feel it's more about loving yourself, okay? I'm actually hearing that as well for some of you guys. This month of September, you're going to take the time to, yeah to breathe and not allow any stress and you're just going to love yourself more care more about yourself um, or do some self-love that's actually what i'm getting to but yeah majority for group number one i don't know i'm picking up a lot of you know energies around money job travel that's really what i'm picking up or business yeah so yeah very interesting let's see what else are we going to pull up And then we'll get some advice for you as well or some bonus message. Okay. You have karma and you have, oh my God, transformation. This is so beautiful. So this month of September, with this karma, it can actually be good or bad, all right? But I'm actually picking up it's more of the good. I'm actually getting that whatever it is that you actually planted, you've worked hard for it, maybe at the very beginning you're not seeing any progress, right? And this is making you feel very disappointed and frustrated. I'm actually, again, seeing that there's going to be a change or you have the transformation things will change you even got the card that says change for the better and earlier i actually pick up that because of your patience it's going to pay off all right so just try to release any anxiety over it or stress because it's going to create more and more stress for you but for the month of september i'm definitely seeing a lot of changes okay a lot of changes beautiful changes and whatever it is that you planted you are actually going to harvest okay that and i'm picking up it's more on the positive side but of course let's just be you know um fair here um when it comes to karma of course if you actually try to you know do something that is bad you know you cannot expect good things to come to you obviously or if you planted a seed of mango let's say or um whatever seed you cannot expect um that you're going to harvest a watermelon out of it so you know just be mindful of what it is that you try to plant especially when it comes to your thoughts okay the more that you put in a lot of negative you know vibration or thoughts it's not going to help you all right you're going to invite more and more negativity into your life all right, I've been there. I've been at my lowest point in my life, and it used to be like that, okay? And I'm sharing this because I've been there, all right? Always remember that if you try to put your focus on the negative side all the time, it's not going to help you. I've not seen a person who's so negative who became so freaking successful, all right? If you notice all of the successful people out there, they have a very beautiful mindset, Okay, their energies are good. They have a very positive outlook, all right? So yeah, that's what I'm actually seeing for you, but definitely changes are coming. Let's see. Let's try to pull up some advice. Oh 
All right, so you got three cards. First card, you got the Five of Raphael, and it says here, everything happens for a reason. Release regret. Embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. Exactly. Do not put your focus on the worries, on the stress, on the, your disappointments, your frustrations, okay? And then you also got here, start off with this, Page of Gabriel. Follow your passion. Exactly. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. So again, I'm seeing travel for a lot of you. I mentioned that already. For some of you, just like what I said, follow your creative passion. So earlier, I picked up somebody who wanted to um, set up his or her. I'm actually picking up a woman, actually, um, who wanted to do a tarot channel Go ahead, do that. If that is your passion, follow your passion. That's what spirit is actually saying, okay? And for some of you guys, I'm actually picking up. It's not necessarily tarot. What I'm actually getting is that some of you guys have been thinking if you're just going to put your focus on um, setting up your own business, whether that's actually food business or art, whatever that is, or writing, I don't know. But definitely just follow your passion. Because if you do that, you have the four of Gabriel. Time for celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. Exactly. Just like karma. You will harvest what you have planted, right? Release yourself from burdensome situations. Exactly. I notice you keep on getting advice from spirit around release. Release worries. Release any regret. Okay. Or release anything that is giving you a lot of, you know, heavy feeling or burdens. So that's the advice for you. But before we actually wrap things up, I am actually going to pull up the Garden Angel card. Let's see. Message for group number one. Okay, got two cards. Start off with this one. And it says here... Stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts toward the positive. Oh my God. I love how everything is correlating here. There's no need to worry. Are you freaking kidding me? Let me actually go back to your cards. Okay. I'm doing this so that you can actually, you know, see what is being highlighted for group number one okay that's why i love pulling up cards from several decks because each deck contains a lot of cards so if you notice the main advice for group number one especially for this month of september you have to release any worries that you may have all right so i'm actually you know getting that a lot of you um are stressed out because there was something that happened to you recently or it's been going around for quite some time you're on the verge of giving up okay so yeah look at this it says here instead of worrying ask for divine guidance okay take the time to breathe out release regret you know there's a lot of releasing energies and now you got this message that says stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts toward the positive there's no need to worry anticipating the worst isn't helpful know that heaven will provide a solution if you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life release the problems to your angels exactly another advice for you or message you have two of action trust in your ability to make excellent choices what did i tell you are you freaking kidding me oh my god remember i just said at the very beginning of the reading i was picking up this strong message from spirit that somebody is having a hard time making a decision whether they should really just start up their own business regardless whether that's tarot but i'm really picking up somebody is um, wanting to start up a channel or set up a channel around tarot, okay? But I'm also picking up that some of you guys, not necessarily tarot, but just starting your own business, okay? Your own business. I can't believe it. And now you got here. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if we just continue to move forward. Exactly. That's why I got the chariot. 
it may be time to take on a new partner who can help you to be a success in your career or creative endeavors. So maybe for some of you guys, there's going to be the both of you. There's going to be two people who's going to help you out or there's only the two of you is going to be working together to make this create a project or this um, business a success. And then you got here, keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. There you go, group number one. That's my September prediction or fortune for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I wish you a happy September and I send you all the love and the light. Bye bye, guys. Hello, group number two. You chose Green Adventuring. So let's see what's in store for you this month of September. What are the energies and the advice as well for you this month of September? Okay. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective which chose group number two. You have two of diamonds. You have queen of hearts. You have two of hearts. You have ten of diamonds. Oh my god, you got, oh my god, queen and king of hearts. This is beautiful. You have king of clubs and you got here two of clubs. So you are actually getting a lot of repeating numbers. Two, two, two. Okay, three twos. So that might be of significance for group number two. And he chose group number two. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, also Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, and also Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So what's in store for you, or what are the energies this month of September? I'm actually, you know, getting, this is very, very strong. I'm actually, you know, picking up that some of you are going to get two love offers, okay? There will be two, especially if you're a woman, because I'm really picking up you are this queen of hearts. Well, if you're actually a guy, then maybe you are actually going to be interested in two um, people. And you're going to make a decision which of these two people. But I'm actually specifically hearing a message that there's going to be two love offers coming in for you. Okay. And um, picking up that this month of September... Um, somehow you're going to kind of like have a hard time making a decision because both are actually, you know, very, yeah, let's say strong potential partners for you. I'm actually getting that one of them is actually, um, wealthy. That's actually what I'm picking up. Let's just put it that way. Well established. The other person is just very simple. Um, but I'm actually picking up that this other person is not as, you know, successful or abundant as the other person. But I feel that um, you would most likely choose this other person because this other person is um, going to kind of like um, share the same core values as you or the both of you are going to mesh really well but I'm picking up two love offers for group number two this month of September which is weird because he chose group number two and then I'm also getting for some of you um, if you're a married person okay I'm actually hearing that there's going to be um, prosperity as well as you know balance for you this month of September, which is actually really, really good. That will apply for all those married couples watching this. Okay, and what else? I'm also hearing for some of you, I'm actually getting that there might be um, two job offers or two potential job that you are also going to be looking at. Um, and I feel that this month of September, you're going to make that final decision. I'm actually getting to as well. So just take what resonates. This is just the first part anyway, but we're still going to pull up a lot of cards 
only take what resonates and just leave the rest, okay? But yeah, this is really interesting. I love this. Right, let's try to pull up this deck. You have here seven of water. You have five of fire. You have hangman. You have empress. You have six of air. We just need one more card. All right. And you got here eight of air. At the bottom of the deck, let's take a look. You got here two of water. I noticed for group number two, the strongest energy for the month of September, it had something to do with love. Okay. Relationships, partnerships so far. Unlike group number one, there's a lot of energies around career or um, money matters, okay? So far for group number two, I'm really seeing a lot of love, relationships, partnerships. Your overall energy is two of water, and that is also love, okay? And you keep on getting the number two as well. All right, so I'm seeing here a lot of air energies, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, especially um, Pisces, and if it's air, Libra, and I'm also seeing Taurus if it's actually Earth. So what I'm actually, you know, getting here is that let's start off with the first message because my gosh, there's a lot of messages. Some of them were already discussed. So the first message that I'm actually hearing is that this is related to a love. Um, or a romantic partner I'm getting that you had a conflict with this person and you have been actually waiting for this person and you notice that nothing is happening you're hoping that this person will actually message you or uh, come back or you're hoping for reconciliation or you're hoping for a contact from this person but unfortunately you know it's been a while nothing is happening i'm actually getting that for some of you not all of you okay you're actually going to finally release the waiting energy you're no longer going to allow yourself to be waiting around waiting for this person like putting all of your energies and focus on that particular person i'm actually picking up that you're going to be open to explore other opportunities um, it can be, you know, other potential partners. That's actually what I'm hearing. But for some of you, maybe you're just going to put your focus or your energies on other areas of your life, which is actually good because you've been seeing or you realize that this is no longer healthy for me. I keep on waiting for this person. I've been putting my focus on this person, waiting for him or her to contact me, but nothing is happening. So I'm actually getting that you realize that you're actually not stuck. So if you actually feel that you're um, stuck in your situation, um, you are going to realize, if you haven't realized that already, you're going to realize that, hey, I'm not stuck. I can actually do something about this. So I'm picking up that there's going to be um, some, yeah some changes for you how you handle your situation um by this month of september some of you guys are going to be just open to um yeah kind of like um entertain other potential partners that's actually you know what i'm hearing for some of you i'm actually you know picking up that you had an argument with someone whether this is a romantic partner or a friend but i'm actually getting that 
whoever it is that you had a conflict with, whether this is also a mother or it can also be, you know, um, a friend or if it's a romantic partner, I'm actually seeing here by this month of September, you guys are actually going to move out from that very heavy face, from the arguments, the conflicts, which is really, really beautiful. And I'm actually also, you know, getting that some of you are actually going to put your focus on yourself this month of September. You're actually going to be, yeah, kind of like, um, I don't know why I'm picking up that somebody's really going to do some total makeover. I'm getting that for some reason. Like, maybe because you're going to be ready to, again, invite or welcome other potential partners. Um, remember, I actually pick up that there's two. All right, and you keep on getting the number two, but I'm getting that there's going to be, yeah, two people who's going to um, be of interest to you this month of September. Okay, wow, there's a lot of messages. Okay, let's try to pull up more. Oh my God, yeah, regeneration, exactly. You have emotional withdrawal. Leadership. Wow. Okay. And you got here in the near future. Wow. This is really beautiful. Okay. So I'm getting a mixture of, you know, messages here, but the strongest message, as you can see on the spread, uh, I'm actually picking up that there's going to be a renewal for a lot of you. I'm actually um, picking up that earlier I was hearing that you had a conflict or argument with someone. I'm actually getting, it can be a lover, it can actually be um, a friend, um, it can be a mother, whatever that is. Let's just, you know, put it as general, whoever that is that you had a conflict with. I'm actually seeing renewal for you and that person. Just like what I said, you guys are going to move away from, you know, um, the heavy storms of the past or that heavy chapter. I feel that if it's actually a lover, all right, I'm actually picking up a consolation for some of you that maybe this person actually, you know, pulled away from the connection because he got your emotional withdrawal. Somebody walked away and then I feel that this person is going to return, okay? Some of you guys might be dealing with a person from overseas. That's also what I'm hearing or this person is actually living far away from you, okay? Another energy that I'm actually getting here is that you have the leadership take charge of this situation. So with the leadership, I feel that you are going to be, yeah, like owning up to it. Um, you're going to make a decision, just like what I said. You're going to make a decision whether um, for others of you, it had something to do with this um, two people. So you're going to make a decision um, whether which one of them you're going to actually entertain or go for. That's actually what I'm picking up. Also, I'm getting with that leadership, okay? You're going to take charge of your life. If in the past, um, you're always, you know, trying to put your focus on, you know, on negative things like, I feel that I'm stuck. I feel like, like things are not moving. I, I feel that I'm, I'm so sick and tired of waiting, you know, of this person. But I'm actually, you know, getting that you're going to finally get out of that energy, all right? You're going to finally realize I'm no longer stuck. I'm not stuck after all. I can do something about this situation. So again, leadership, you're going to take charge. And some of you guys will even try to kind of like... Um, 
Yeah. Do a makeover. That's actually what I'm hearing, that you're going to put your focus on yourself. You're going to um, be open to entertain other potential mates. That's actually what I'm seeing. And um, for some of you who are actually resonating with, you wanted to know if you're going to get promoted. Yes. Um, just like group number one, I'm picking up a leadership role as well. All right. Um, and I'm picking up that you're ready for it. So yeah, in the near future, that's gonna happen, okay? So I'm actually recording this last week of, uh, rather, August, okay? So in the near future, all of these things that we've discussed, it's gonna happen, okay? Let me know. All right, so I noticed as well, I keep on getting a lot of images of people with blonde hair, so I don't know, maybe somebody's blonde, but I noticed that very, you know, strongly. Okay, what else? Let's try to pull up another card here. You have Healer of the Ages. Wow, you have Unfoldment. Take a look at this. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, you actually got the crown. Wow, you got the candle, very nice. You have torch. Let's try the second set. Yeah, look at that misunderstanding. What did I tell you? Some conflict, some arguments, okay? You have shark. And the last card, let's take a look. You got leg. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I love how everything is actually correlating here. So what I'm picking up on this um, next spread, like what I said, if there were some conflicts, arguments, misunderstanding with someone, so that's why I said whether it's actually a friend, a lover, a romantic partner, or a family member, I feel that that will be resolved this month of September, okay? I feel that the both of you are actually going to finally move out from that heavy chapter. And I'm also, you know, picking up that some of you were also um, kind of like, again, having a hard time making a decision. Like, I'm picking up that you don't know what to do. Because I noticed that for the month of September for you, group number two, there's a lot around decision. I noticed that one of the strongest energy for you guys, it had, it had something to do with decisions. So I feel that Spirit is saying everything is going to be revealed to you. You will actually be shown the way. So don't worry, okay? I'm also getting with this torch, all right, spiritual development, okay? So I'm actually picking up, if you guys were actually, you know, um, and yeah, if you're a tarot reader, a healer, all right, because I'm also drawn to that, I feel that there's something that you're going to do that's going to help someone. I don't know, I'm getting this strong message for those who will resonate that they are a healer, a practitioner, a tarot reader, or a psychic, okay? I'm actually getting that the message from Spirit for you is that this month of September, there is actually something that you are going to do in which it's going to help somebody out there. And you can actually, you know, um, get the 
respect. You will actually be getting the respect of that person or um, whatever it is that you did. I'm actually getting like people will respect you because you've helped this person. You've actually um, did or you will be doing something that is truly amazing and I'm getting that people will respect you for that or you will get um, some sort of like a recognition I'm not talking about like a an award or what I'm talking about like you will be recognized for what it is that you actually did I'm actually picking that up very strongly okay and I'm also picking up some of you guys your psychic abilities will actually be enhanced further that's also what I'm picking up another message that I'm actually getting here based on the cards they actually got is that some of you are really going to be promoted you're going to be stepping into a different type of you know role that's also what I'm getting for some of you it might be a leadership role and then for some of you, I'm actually getting that there's going to be a brand new experience. So there's something new coming in for group number two, regardless whether it's a new job or it can also be um, a new person because I'm getting two offers from you guys. And then I'm also picking up that, yeah, there's something that you will actually be doing this month of September that will actually bring forth a lot of, you know, um, admiration from people, okay? That's actually what I'm getting, respect. Just be mindful. The only, you know, negative card here, all right? But it's not too negative. I'm actually, you know, seeing this more of like a warning for you guys. Be mindful of, you know, spending money, okay? Just take care of your money, because, um, yeah, maybe somebody is going, this is actually very strong. Somebody might actually kind of like borrow money from you, but this person doesn't have any intention of returning it, okay? So just be mindful of that. That's actually what I'm getting. Or in general, just be mindful of spending your money, okay? Be mindful of that. Wow, this is actually totally, totally beautiful. Another message, by the way, I actually forgot this, but I'm actually picking up that a mother is sick. Now, this is not like a prediction that somebody was, is going to get sick, but I'm actually picking up that this person is not feeling well. All right. If you have concerns around that, this is a validation for you from spirit that this month of September, you would actually see positive changes. All right. Um, this mother is actually going to be um, really, you know, feeling good now or she will um, recuperate or yeah, I'm actually um, picking up a female energy. So it might be a mother or an aunt or I don't know, a female energy. But yeah whatever you know um is happening or whatever it is that's going on with that person i'm seeing that for the month of september um there's going to be some improvement especially when it comes to the health wow okay all right so let's see what else try this one and then we are actually going to pull up some advice from spirit okay that was strong we actually just got one card so let's take a look at that good times okay expect good times all right this month of september which is amazing because even at the very beginning of your reading they showed me three of cups so that means there's going to be yeah celebration for you experience some good times remember i kind of like picked up like there will be a reunion I believe I mentioned that because when I'm doing a reading, I just go on and on and on. But I'm actually getting that some of you will actually reunite with some friends. That's also what I'm picking up. You will have some, you know, have you will have fun or have some good times with them. Or basically, 
yeah, good times are cam coming in for you this month of September. So very, very positive. Yeah, because I'm drawn to that. I'm seeing uh, food over here. So maybe you're going to eat out or maybe you're going to have a date or have fun. Just like what I said, unlike in the past, if you are resonating with yes, I've always been in that energy of waiting for this person. And my life is feeling so boring. I'm so stuck in my situation until I realize I'm not stuck. I can be actually, you know, be open to other, you know, opportunities that will come along. I will not be closed off. So I'm actually getting that. Some of you guys are going to be ready um, to um, invite or welcome um, other potential partners. And you will have a good time, you know, with them. Or for some of you, it's a reunion within friends, okay? So, yeah, that's beautiful. Let's see, what else? actually pull up an advice for you any message for group number two for the month of September all right you have your six of Gabriel I can't believe this you actually got that if I'm not mistaken yeah you actually got that if I'm not mistaken, you got a victory. So it says here, congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. We have awards, scholarships, or promotions. So what did I tell you? Somebody's going to be promoted. I just mentioned that earlier. So this is your validation for sure that you will be promoted. It's actually a leadership role, okay? So yeah, for some of you guys, again, overall energy is success victory very positive for group number two you can expect victory good times this month of september wow yeah some of you guys will get an award i actually do not think like it's actually an award like a plaque or something for those who will resonate with what i said earlier remember i said something about a healer or a psychic a tarot reader I don't know but a practitioner I'm actually not picking up I don't know why but I'm actually not picking up that this person is doing YouTube I'm actually picking up that this person is just watching YouTube but they're actually a psychic or this person is a psychic uh, a healer or a practitioner I'm actually getting I don't know but it can still up yeah be applicable to anybody who can resonate but i'm actually picking up that there's going to be yeah um kind of like um not really an award but it's more of like a recognition like you will be recognized for what it is that you're going to do um and this will actually earn a lot of respect from people you will earn a lot of respect from people um a lot of admiration that's really what i'm getting so success is coming in for you for sure this month of September I don't know I'm getting a lot of messages so just only take what resonates and just leave the rest but yeah victory overall it's going to be a victorious month for group number two and let's just get one last message for you guys before we wrap things up message for group number two spirit oh wow you got two cards all right you have eight of action, so let me read it. It says here, there's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you, and yet it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if life feels challenging. If you're asked to travel and take a flight, then do so with confidence. Okay, yeah, because this card is all about travel too. So maybe for the month of September, um, this is your validation that you might be also be yeah traveling okay so yeah and you guys might be also very busy this month of september so just try to you know balance your energies all right and just be thankful that whatever it is that you've been doing even though you're really super busy um just express gratitude okay that all of these, you know, things that you've been doing that's been taking up your time, um, you know, even if it's challenging, that's still a blessing from the heaven or from the universe, right? 
instead of not doing anything at all, right? What would you rather choose? Just stay at home and, you know, stare at the four corners of your room and do nothing, okay? So, yeah, just be grateful. That's what Spirit is saying. Another message, we have three of emotion. What did I tell you? Three of cups, right? I noticed I really love this reading because there's a lot of synchronicity there's a lot of repeating messages over and over for you guys so earlier we got the good times we also got the three of cups earlier which talks about reunions and celebrations now we got the three of cups again three of emotion so it says here wonderful news is on its way announcements regarding engagements pregnancies births or graduations will be revealed will be revealed new friends will be made or communities of like-minded people will draw closer to one another exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner oh my god well this is kind of like really amazing because let me go back to your cards something's interesting here let me just actually pull up one of your cards yeah, maybe somebody's going to get pregnant. All right. Or you will be receiving a news around pregnancy. Okay. Because you got the Empress. The Empress is a pregnant woman. So, yeah. I'm actually getting here that, yeah, there's something around pregnancy. Now, if that's not you and you're actually freaking out like, oh, no, I don't want to get pregnant. Okay. It's not going to apply for everybody. All right. Just, um just relax okay but for some of you guys yeah maybe somebody's gonna get pregnant all right or maybe you will actually receive a news that maybe one of your friends or your family member is gonna get pregnant or yeah announcements around pregnancies or engagements and then what else yeah it actually says here new friends will be made hmm i'm actually drawn to that because i mentioned earlier that there's going to be a new person for you i'm actually picking up two people um potential partner for group number two that's why i said you chose group number two and yet you actually also got a lot of number twos um in your reading but anyway, new beginnings for sure as well um, for group number two this month of September. All right. Some of you guys are going to take a leap of faith. I feel that some of you guys are actually afraid to take this risk because you're actually, you know, afraid to, um, yeah, to take a risk. Um, you're not sure, you're not confident enough, but I'm actually getting it's going to be worth it, all right? That's also another message that I'm hearing right now for some of you. But anyway, that's what I can see for group number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I totally wish you all the best and happy September. Bye-bye, guys. Last but not the least, we have group number three, Chose Pyrite. So let's see, what are, what are the energies or what's in store for you this month of September? Spare guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages. You have here four of diamonds. You have ten of clubs you have king of spades you have six of spades You have three of clubs. Okay, and you got your seven of clubs. At the bottom of the deck, you got your three of spades. Okay. I'm definitely seeing a lot of fire energies. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm also seeing Ear, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right. So, what's in store for you 
this month of September or what are the energies. Don't worry, this is just a first spread. I'm still going to pull up a lot of cards, but I'm actually getting this um, message very strongly. And it had something to do with either you've been waiting for a job, okay? I feel this had something more to do with money matters, money issues or finances or job. I'm getting here that you've been looking for a job or you've been struggling with money and um, I'm also hearing for some of you, you're not really actually struggling with money but you are feeling very much tired because there's a lot of, you know, deliverables, a lot of tasks or responsibilities that you've been carrying. That's actually what I'm getting. Some of you guys, again, you've been experiencing a lot of um, stroke of bad luck um, when it comes to finding a job. That's actually what I'm hearing. Like you're on the verge of really, you know, giving up. You're very much heartbroken because you're struggling financially. I'm actually, you know, picking up that you've been penny pinching okay um, because you're struggling with money um, that's also the energy I'm getting another energy is that you've been looking for a job but um, you're struggling nothing is happening okay spirit is wanting for you to keep on going do not give up because I'm hearing you're on the verge of giving up um, it's even you know kind of like giving you mental stress anxiety that's really what I'm hearing right now so don't allow that to overcome you that's what spirit is saying keep fighting that's what spirit is saying keep fighting because what I'm seeing here that there will be um, some changes for you um, group number three especially if you're resonating with that I'm actually seeing that you're about to move out from that very heavy phase whatever difficulties setbacks that you've been experiencing i'm hearing as well six months i don't know why i'm hearing six months for some of you but it's been going on for six months and you're not seeing any progress that is making you feel so sad so upset I don't know why I'm hearing six months, but maybe it's going to resonate for some of you. I'm actually saying that you are actually going to move out from that very heavy face. Um, it's kind of like the light is at the end of the tunnel. It's almost there, so keep fighting. That's what Spirit is actually saying, okay? I'm also um, getting that some of you are struggling with your business. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Somebody's struggling as well with their business, um, their project, and um, you're not sure whether am I still going to, you know, run this business or is it about time for me to look for other opportunities? Um, Spirit is saying no. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but no, no. They're saying keep going, all right? Um, you're probably just, you know, um, they're saying that you don't have to decide right away, all right? Or use your emotions to make a decision because maybe you've been, again, very much emotional about it about it because you've been struggling when it comes to your project or when it comes to this business i'm hearing business all right so this is a message for those who will resonate with the business and the business is failing but they're actually saying that um everybody's struggling anyway all right we are all struggling especially because of the pandemic it's actually affecting everybody i mean globally so they're actually saying um before you make a decision all right try to take the time to pause first do not use your emotions when making a decision that's what spirit is saying that is so strong all right so just keep fighting that's really what i'm hearing for group number three especially they have a lot of dark cards okay which is very heavy very dark and some of you guys um it's like you're yeah grieving you know um but spirit is saying you're about to move out from that heavy heavy face of your life all right so let's see what else what's in store for group number three this month of september
see, you got the call card. Oh my god. Yeah, this is again, oh my god. I love how everything is correlating to what I actually heard. He got two of Earth. Next he got here, Page of Fire. Next you have here, Seven of Earth. Wow, that was so strong. It went over here. Okay, you got Messenger of Water. Let's get one more. You have Eight of Water. At the bottom of the deck, you got here Four of Earth. So I noticed you keep on getting the number four. And that is actually talking about stability, all right? Things will be stable, so just keep holding on. Do not give up. Because I noticed I really heard that strong message for group number three at the very beginning of the reading. They want you to stand up and fight. That's what I specifically heard. Stand up and keep on fighting. I'm actually hearing a male voice. I don't know whose spirit guide was that, but I'm actually picking up a, a male guide with mustache. Yeah, I'm definitely sure it's not my spirit guide, but that was so strong. I just heard it, okay? And I kind of like, you know, picked up what it looked like or what this spirit guide looked like. But I'm actually, you know, picking up that it's boring, by the way. Yeah. But the mustache is black. It's actually, you know, and black hair. Um, but it's foreign. It's definitely not Asian. Okay. I don't know whose spirit guide is that. But anyway, I am actually, you know, hearing very strongly for all of you, group number three, to stand up and fight or keep on fighting. Do not give up. Because what I'm seeing here, and before we begin, by the way, I'm seeing a lot of earth energies, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus and water energy scorpio pisces cancer especially scorpio all right so don't give up that's what they're saying all right i'm getting um mixture messages and some of them are already discussed at the beginning of your reading i'm going to start with what i actually heard at the beginning and it's actually here again on your cards some of you guys are going to be really extremely busy okay um this month of september or you've been feeling very much you know burdened like you've been doing everything um it's like you're struggling it's not necessarily you have a problem with money what i'm hearing earlier was that there's a lot of tasks there's a lot of deliverables like you've been carrying all of those tasks by yourself so um spirit actually you know wanted you to balance okay that's another advice for you balance your energies as much as possible I'm also getting that for some of you, you've been waiting, okay, for this opportunity. That's what I'm actually hearing. You've been waiting for some opportunity to come in. Um, and again, like what I said, you've applied many, many times. It's not working. It's not, you know, um, happening for you. But I'm actually, you know, getting that there will be... Um, yeah, either a message coming in for some of you, which is weird. I kind of like picked this up for group number one. So maybe some of you guys actually watch group number one or somebody chose one in three. But I'm really picking up that some of you guys are going to get a call or get a, a message from, you know, this employer or one of, you know, the employers that you've actually applied for. Some of you guys that had something to do with overseas work. Okay, and you're losing hope. It's kind of like I've actually, you know, tried everything. I've waited for this. Nothing is happening, but I'm actually seeing by the month of September, you would actually see some, you know, shift or some changes. Okay, that's really what I'm picking up. Another message that I'm actually um, seeing here is that some of you guys are actually going to get a message from a person from your past this is very specific 
um, it's up to you. That's what Spirit is saying. Whether you would still entertain this person. It's up for you to decide whether are you going to welcome this person back into your life. Okay. But I'm actually getting that somebody who actually left your life. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's around romance. So I'm actually getting it's not just a friend. Okay. I'm picking up it's a romantic partner in the past from the past. So an ex in other words who might be um, sending you a message this month of September. Okay, not for all of you, all right? But again, it's up to you. Just, yeah, just um, try to figure that out and just be mindful that this is not going to be um, applicable for all of you guys. But I'm really getting that message that an ex or a person from your past is going to send you a message all right and what i specifically heard from spirit they are saying it's up to you whether you're going to entertain this person back into your life because we all have free will anyway okay because some of you might say oh i don't want that person anymore then don't okay nobody's forcing you all right so there you go those are the messages that i'm actually seeing here for this spread let's see what else What's in store for group number three this month of September? What are the energies? All right, let's take a look at that. You have here the fate. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's take a look at this. Your cards are flying out like crazy. I noticed that. Oh my god. He got the shadow. All right. Let's actually pull up more. Your cards are flying out like crazy. Oh my God. The energies are so powerful, so strong. So some of you guys are probably having some anxiety. So again, ground your energies, okay? You have a study. Okay. Let's get another one. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. You have your forgiveness. Whoopsie. This is the energy that I'm actually picking up earlier. Okay. So let's actually start off with what I actually strongly picked up. That somebody from the past is coming back. Okay. This might be a twin flame even for some of you. For some of you, this might be a person who has Pisces in his or her chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Not for all of you, okay? But I'm actually um, getting, it can be uh, a person who has Pisces in their chart. Or it can be that you are the Pisces, all right? So just take what resonates. But anyway, I'm really getting that somebody is going to come back. I did not expect this. That's why I love real-time shuffling because I don't know what's going to come out of the cards and the messages I'm going to be hearing. It's like I'm unprepared for it. But yeah, I'm really hearing that very strongly that some of you guys will be um, getting a phone call or a message through email, DM, whatever it is. But somebody's going to return. Somebody is actually going to um, catch up with you again. And it's an axe. 
for a lot of you, I'm not really seeing it as a friend. It's actually a romantic partner from your past. So maybe that's the reason why you're going to kind of like try to weigh whether, what am I gonna do? Should I really let this person in? But I'm scared. So I'm actually getting a lot of fear as well. Some of you guys are kind of like, um, yeah, I'm hearing you will be triggered again. That's what I'm hearing. You will be triggered or there's going to be fear whether you are actually going to allow this person back into your life because you've been hurt. That's why I said earlier, right? It's up to you. That's what spirit is saying. Nobody is going to decide for you. Always remember that. Never base your decisions on tarot, okay? Otherwise, you're living other people's lives, okay? Um, or decisions, or you're basing off your decision on other people's opinions, rather. And so I'm actually picking up that this person will ask or seek forgiveness from you. All right, so this person will come back and ask for forgiveness or seek for forgiveness. And you're going to be like, why? Why is this person here again? Why is it that I thought that I'm over this person? I thought that, you know, um, it's over and I'm ready to, you know, um, to move on. I'm about to move on because I'm hearing some of you guys were not totally over. That's what I'm hearing for some of you. But for some reason, you know, it's kind of like, it's going to be a test. That's really what I'm hearing. It's a test for you. And you're actually going to ask the question, why? Why is this person here again? Like, what is the purpose? Why are we back together again? Or why is the universe bringing this person back into my life? What's the real reason? So I'm really picking up that that's going to happen for some of you this month of September. This might be a twin flame connection, okay? And then I'm also picking up that for some of you, I'm actually getting that, um, yeah, there's going to be a success around, um, yeah, around studies, okay? That's also what I'm getting with the study card here. But you can also apply that with what we picked up earlier. You can just study the situation first before making a decision. Just like what I said, right? Um, do not base off your decisions from emotions, all right? Balance your energies, because I notice your cards have been flying out like crazy. So anyway, study. Some of you guys, uh, maybe this had something to do with studies, like actual studies, like maybe you're still um, studying, you're at school. Some of you are probably thinking about going back to school or taking up um, um, some master role. I don't know what I'm, why I'm picking that up. Spirit is actually saying, go for it, all right? Um, some of you guys are actually going to put your focus on um, jobs or you're going to be successful um, when it comes to being a teacher or a mentor or a coach, that's also what I'm getting here because that is actually part of your um, life purpose. That's also what I'm getting. But yeah, we only have four cards, but there's a lot of messages. I'm actually drained already. Oh my God. Perhaps it's because I actually pick up that person. Yeah, with mustache, short hair, mustache. He's probably in his late 30s i don't know who that is but anyway let's actually pull up more cards what's in store for group number three this month of september what are the energies wow angel of love l-o-v-e okay okay Oh, wow, you got celebration. Let's take a look at that. Meditate and contemplate. Exactly. Again, Pisces. Somebody's a Pisces. I mentioned that earlier. Either you are the Pisces, okay? But yeah, mm, interesting. You have money path, wow. This is so beautiful. 
me actually just fix our cards real quick. Hold on. Because we're going to pull up a lot of cards. You have star. Wow. Guaranteed success. This is so beautiful. Mountain road. You're on the road to success. Oh, my God. This is so beautiful. All right. We'll get three more. Okay, got two cards, but we'll pull up one more. You have archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. What did I tell you? Just don't give up, especially for those who are resonating with. They're almost on the verge of giving up because they waited for so long, okay? Ah, uh, teardrops, great personal sorrow, okay. And you have here, valley. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. I can't believe this. You keep on getting a lot of cards with um, the word success. And that is totally beautiful. That's what Spirit is wanting to highlight for you on this reading. Okay. We just have one negative card. We have great personal sorrow over here. Okay. I'm going to clarify that real quick. What is the sorrow all about, Spirit? Oh my God, you got 10 of spades. We'll discuss that later on, okay? So you know me, I'm not just going to tell you um, the goodies or the good stuffs, but we just have to be realistic. But so far on the entire reading, there's only just about one, you know, warnings or, um, yeah, reminders um, for each group. And you have teardrops. A lot of people actually told me that the things um, that were mentioned on the previous predictions came true, especially when they lost a family member, okay? All right, but yeah, we'll get to that later on. Let's actually start off with what I'm picking up very strongly for you guys. You got Angel of Love Celebration. So I'm actually, you know, picking up very strongly that for some of you, maybe there's going to be a brand new beginning when it comes to love for you. And this will actually make you feel very, very much happy. All right. I'm also getting that some of you are going to be asked to contemplate on this decision whether you're going to allow this person in or not okay because I'm really seeing that there might be a reconciliation or somebody from the past is coming back and you're not sure whether you're going to allow this person back into your life okay that's really what I'm getting but just try to meditate and contemplate on that again what I specifically heard from spirit they're saying do not use your or never use your emotions when you make a decision do not use your emotions or never use your emotions balance okay and then um actually also picking up that for some of you um you've been yeah experiencing a lot of challenges just like what i said i even heard six months for some of you that you've been trying to look for a job or um you've been trying to yeah apply for a job there's not much success and what spirit is actually saying based on the cards that you got that there will be a new opportunity just like what i said i really heard that some of you will even get um a call or a message um from an employer all right or there's going to be basically a new opportunity that will be yeah open up to you just like what it says here paths opening up new opportunities or possibilities and this will bring you a lot of success you have a lot of cards around success i can't believe this you have this this and this so guaranteed success you are on the, on the road to success and then you got deep personal strength and peace that assures success so i noticed there's a lot of you know mountains again mountains for me I will read that intuitively. It's talking about obstacles or challenges, all right? But keep going, just like what I told you, right? At the very beginning of your reading, Spirit was saying, keep going.
stand up and fight. I even picked up that guy. I don't know who that is, but yeah, stand up and keep fighting. That's what they're saying. All right, do not give up because you're on the road to success. All right, and then you got money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Oh my God! Maybe because you've been looking for a job, or but definitely, I'm actually seeing here um, that there's going to be a lot of success for you this month of September. Okay, group number three, which is weird because you chose the pyrite, and pyrite it had something to do with abundance as well or money, because that is the fool's gold. And now you got the man money path card, so really awesome thing synchronicity here now let's move on to this card okay you got teardrops great personal sorrow so i clarified with spirit why do we have the great personal sorrow over here and they actually gave me the ten of spades okay so this actually means that for some of you not all of you okay some of you are actually going to end something Okay, it's a painful ending, like you're going to either end a relationship, okay, or it can be that somebody um, is going to um, leave, all right, and um, of course there's sadness, but don't worry, you know, we all go through a lot of, you know, sorrow, um, it's actually, um, yeah, normal to feel sad about it. To cry about it as a human being you are um given the right to express that but make sure you don't put your focus way too much on um on the sorrow it's okay to heal from that express that let it go okay do not bottle it up but you also have to learn how to heal from it okay and healing doesn't, you know, happen overnight, all right? So it's okay, just keep going. So I'm actually picking up some of you guys, either you're going to end a relationship, or I'm actually picking up that somebody is actually going to um, um, be leaving, all right? Let's just put it that way. All right, so there you go. Let's move on to the next one. I don't want to focus on the negatives, you know me. I wanted, you know, to put my focus on positivity all the time, but of course, let's just be realistic, right? Every human being on this earth, we, you know, we experience a lot of setbacks, but it's more on how do you handle, you know, learning to dance in the rain. That's why I got the, yeah, when I saw this, what I heard, dance in the rain. Learn how to dance in the rain, okay? So let's see here. Let's try to pull up this one and then we'll get some advice for you before we wrap things up. Oh my God, you got your friendships. Okay. So maybe, yeah, some of you guys might make new friends. It can be that. Or maybe some of you will be ending a friendship. It can also be that. Not necessarily a romantic partner, but it can also be that. But this can be either good or bad, okay? It can either be good or bad. Some of you guys are probably going to, yeah, again, um, end a relationship, which is, it can be a friendship. Or you can make new friends as well if it's on the positive side. Maybe you'll be meeting new friends or your current friendship with someone is going to be a lot more stronger, all right? Um, the people that you actually resonate with or you vibrate with um, or that's actually part of your soul tribe or soul group, okay? So I'm actually getting a mixture of messages from this friendship card. So, um, but it can also be because I'm actually hearing earlier that there's going to be an ending of a relationship. So it's just relationship. Friendship is still a relationship. So whatever that is, okay? Whatever that is. But yeah, I'm seeing that one of your strongest energy as well for the month of September, it had something to do with friendships. Either I'm going to make new friends or some of you are going to, yeah, um, put an end to the friendship. So yeah, what else? Let's see here. Ugh. 
let's get an advice for group number three. Advice for group number three, Spirit, please. Strength. Exactly. What did I tell you? Spirit kept on saying earlier, stand up and keep fighting. Be strong. Okay? Because I notice um, out of all the three groups, though, there's a lot of heavy energies for group number three. If you notice, there's a lot of black cards, okay, which talks about loss, sorrow, grief. So this experience will definitely make you strong. Always remember that because you have a lot of positive cards too, that you're on the road to success. Just like climbing a mountain, it's not that easy, right? But how good is it, you know, going to feel when you actually are on the top of the mountain? And it's like you're going to look back and you're going to say to yourself, oh my gosh, I've been struggling just to get here, but I feel so good. You know, that's the energy I'm getting for you, group number three. So just be strong, all right? You got the word forgiveness again. So I'm really picking up that. By the month of you know September, you will be um, asked to forgive, or somebody is going to ask forgiveness from you. Either one of those, you're going to be asked to forgive this person, or somebody's going to just seek for forgiveness. It can be that too. But anyway, just be strong. Some of you guys are probably even Leo, okay? Or maybe this person is a Leo. It can be that. All right. So one last message before you wrap things up. Message for group number three. Oh my God, your cards have been flying out <laughs> like crazy. Oh gosh, okay. You have seven of emotion. Let me actually read that for you. It says here, your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. Oh my God. Oh my God, decision. Yeah, it's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. You actually got the Seven of Cups earlier, right? So for a lot of you, group number three, this is one of the strongest energies as well. This had something to do um, with making a decision because with the Seven of Cups, it shows a person who's having a hard time making a decision. Do I want this cup or do I want this cup? So I'm actually getting that for the month of, you know, um, September. Decision is also going to be one of the strongest, you know, um, energies for you. And that's their message. So they're asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off, whatever that is. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask Kevin for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. There you go, group number three. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I wish you all the best and I wish you a happy, happy September. Bye-bye, guys. Love and light.